it's me Brianna so on my last video I did a beginner step-by-step -step tutorial on how to achieve a easy flawless face this time I'm going to take it one notch up I'm going to show you guys how to do highlight and contour for beginners step-by-step -step. hope you will continue to watch okay guys so we are starting off with freshly washed and moisturized skin i'm going to take my primer and i'm going to apply that along my t-zone primer just helps to compact oiliness and improve longevity of makeup now i'm going to take my one of my favorite foundations which is my mac studio fix fluid foundation you guys it's just it's a tried and true for me i just i really love the mac foundation um i have been in the sun i've been going to the beach so i have a summer tan so i am in the color um nw50 and i'm going to take that along with my mac 190 brush and distribute that all over my face Now this is totally optional, but I don't like the feeling of foundation sitting on top of my skin. I like for the foundation to be in my skin, it looks more natural. So I am just taking a damp beauty blender and I am going ahead and applying that, pressing the foundation into my skin to give me more of a natural foundation look. Cause skin is super important. Now I'm gonna go ahead and fill in my brows. You guys, I have so many videos on how to fill in my brows. And this is a highlight and contour video, not a filling the brows video. So I'm gonna go ahead and skip this step, but don't worry, all products are down below as well as videos. Now I am taking my Born This Way Concealer and I am in the color Deep Tan and I'm going to go ahead and apply that under eye, taking the same beauty blender, going to damp that. And the reason why I like to damp my beauty blender is so it does not soak up as much product. Now I am just taking my beauty blender and I'm going to distribute that along my under eye. Honestly, you guys, you want to make sure you're not wiping because if you wipe, then you're kind of wiping the product off your skin. So really all I'm doing is I'm pressing the concealer into my skin and kind of spreading it along. So as you can see, it looks very heavy coverage, but it's not. I am just lightly dabbing that into my skin and distributing the concealer all over. You want to make sure that you don't go any lower than your nose when you are distributing the concealer as well. And this is how the concealer looks once I have applied it to my face. We're going to contour and highlight, so don't worry guys, it's not going to look so um, stark against the face. Now I'm taking that same concealer, I'm going to go ahead and apply that to the bridge of my nose, my cupid's bow, and my chin. The reason being is the sun naturally hits these spots, so we're going to highlight that. And then I'm taking the beauty blender, I'm going to go ahead and blend that out. You guys, I'm going to say this. I love the Beauty Blender. I have tried many different kinds of sponges and I have yet to find one that is that replicates the Beauty Blender. So if there's one thing you spend a little money on, I recommend spending money on the Beauty Blender because I use it so much as you guys can see. Now I'm going to go ahead and contour. I'm using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit and I am kind of sucking in my cheeks so I can see the hollows because the hollows is where you want to contour. And then I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit on my jawline because as you guys can see, I kind of have big cheeks. So the contour is where you want to de-emphasize and um, cur um, I can't talk. And <laughs> the highlight is where you want to emphasize. So again, you want to add dark where you want to de-emphasize and you want to add light where you want to emphasize. So I want to make it seem like I have really high cheekbones or actual cheekbones. And I want my jawline not to be as prominent. So I'm taking it dark. And I'm going to go ahead and blend that with the Beauty Blender as well. I like a very, very natural highlight contour. You can always take this a step up if you want like dramatic bam in your face. I like to contour my cheekbones, my jaw, my nose, as well as my forehead. Again, you guys, when you're contouring, you're de-emphasizing. So I just apply the Anastasia Dark around my forehead and I'm going to go ahead and blend that with the Beauty Blender. Just like my cheekbones, just like my jawline, just like my nose. Contouring the outer layer of your face just really helps to add that nice highlight and contour. And as you guys can see, I've contoured my forehead and it's kind of all coming together. The contour is coming together. Yes, girl. Now I'm going to set my under eye pretty much anywhere I apply the concealer. Now what does setting do? Setting allows for your makeup to last longer for one. For two, it helps prevent creasing. And for three, it, if you have oily skin or your concealer is kind of oily, it helps give something to grab onto. I, and I am literally pressing it into my skin. I am not just sitting this on my skin. I'm pressing it into the concealer to give the concealer something to grab onto. And I'm applying it everywhere I apply the concealer. And then 
then once I have it kind of pressed into my skin, I'm going to dust off any uh, excess. So we've set the highlight. Now I'm going to go ahead and set the contour. I'm using my Sleek Contour Kit in the color Dark. You guys can see I use it quite often. It's panning. And I am going to set anywhere where I applied the contour. And I totally forgot to show you guys. I actually contoured my nose, but I wasn't recording on camera. So now I'm just going to go ahead and set my contour powder. I'm going to also set my cheeks as well as my jawline. You guys, setting your um, highlight and your contour really does help for your makeup to last longer. So if you're going to be out all night, I highly recommend setting your contour and your highlight. Now I'm going to go ahead and apply a little bit of blush. I am using my Coastal Scents Forever Blush in the color Alorant. I like to apply just a little bit of blush, not a lot. And then I am taking one of my absolute favorite things right now, which is the MAC Strobing Cream. And it's in the color Red Light. I was a little nervous when I first got this. I was like, okay, it's kind of reddish. Is that going to really be my color? Because usually things that are like a pinkish color are more for lighter skin tones. But you guys, I love this MAC Strobing Cream. It Look at it. It just adds like a nice little shine to it. it's not overbearing but it looks very very natural and i literally just pack this right on top of my foundation and my powder it doesn't clump up it just adds like a nice little highlight and then i'm taking a clean makeup brush and it's going to blend out any areas that i did not blend out and that's it that's pretty much how i highlight and contour step by step easy right it's still natural but still cute you know what i mean you know what i mean <laughs> So this is the finished look once I went ahead and applied some eyeshadow, lashes, liner, mascara, you know, all that stuff. Anyways, all products listed down below as well as the links to purchase. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe as well as any comments or questions down below. I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Mwah! Bye!